Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math MathCast, lesson 14-2. Tonight we're doing metric units of capacity. I'm Mrs. Gooding and our quote tonight is by Amelia Earhart. She said the most effective way to do it is to do it. So it may be hard to do, it may be tough to get it done, but just do it. It's kind of like getting our homework over with. Once we start it, it's not nearly as bad as we think it's going to be. Our learning goal tonight is to use King Henry to convert metric units of liquid volume, or what we call capacity. Here are some really cool pictures of her and our individual lesson learning goals. You probably wanna know that we're talking about liters and milliliters for the most part tonight. Those are the most commonly used um, capacity units that we're gonna be involved with in fifth grade. So when you picture one of those big two liter pop bottles, if you divide that in half, that's about a liter. Sometimes you've seen the small, just slightly smaller pop bottles. And um, there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter because just like a meter, a liter is our base unit. And a milliliter, milla means 1,000, would be 1,000th of a liter. So one milliliter, which is very tiny, is about 20 drops of water not very much at all and you can see that it's so tiny that a milliliter is one thousandth I wrote that in decimal form instead of fraction form just as a review one thousand one thousandth of a liter so if you took that bottle of pop and divided it up into a thousand parts that little smaller bottle of liter bottle of pop would um, one thousandth of it is going to be a milliliter we're going to use the King Henry strategy to convert metric units of liquid volume. Here we're back to our King Henry example and if you recall each letter of that acronym stands for a metric unit that we need to know. So King Henry died unfortunately drinking chocolate milk stands for kilo, hecto, deca, unit which in this case is going to be liter, deci, centi and milli. Remember that the soft C sounds are to the right, deci and centi, they come together, and the hard K sounds are to the left, kilo and deca. Also don't forget that centa means one hundredth. One hundred years, cent, century, one hundred cents equals a dollar. So those are some ways to help you remember that centa means one hundredth of something and milli means one thousandth of something. Kilo also means 1,000, the whole number 1,000. So let's do some practice problems, some example problems. So as a quick reminder of the lesson we did the night before, 12-2, I went ahead and wrote out my acronym. I always do, um, not every time I work a problem, but at least on every page. King Henry died, unfortunately, drinking chocolate milk. And remember, I had commas around that U to remind myself that that is the units. It could stand for meters, liters, and grams are units. Just like you'd say lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Meters, liters, and grams are units. Meters, liters, and grams are units. So in this case, we're talking about liters because we're talking about liquid volume or capacity. Let's come down to our first problem. 43 and 7 tenths milliliters. Now notice in this abbreviation of milliliters, liters, just like millimeters, we had mm, now we have ml, but we use a capital L so that we don't get it mixed up with a one. So make sure you capitalize that L. Milliliters equals how many liters? So let's start with what we know. We know how many milliliters we have because we have 30, 43 and 7 tenths. So here's our milli, and we're going to jump to liters. There's our liters in the units. So remember, don't count the one you're on. You can't count until you've made a full jump, and we're gonna jump right on the letter. One, two, three. We went three to the left, okay? To get from milliliters to liters. So we're gonna take that decimal, and we're going to jump the decimal three numbers to the left. So this time we go between the numbers. One, two, three. If you have difficulty remembering your left from right, just draw the arrow in the direction you jumped and then move your decimal in the direction your arrow is pointing. Now when we have an empty space like this, because we still had to take a third jump, we fill it with a zero. And because the decimal says and, 
To be mathematically, grammatically correct, we put a zero on both sides, so that there's a digit on both sides of that decimal. So, when we read it, remember we read decimal tenths, hundredths, thousandths. It ends in the thousandths place, so we read it like a regular number, 43 thousandths liters. Let's try another one. In this one, we're going to move the other direction. So we're going to start with 7 and 6 tenths liters equals how many milliliters? Now, if we start with what we know, which is liters, and we jump to milliliters, we jump one, two, three places to the right. So we start with our decimal and jump three places to the right. Let's rewrite it so we have plenty of space. One, two, three. So our decimal isn't here anymore. Once we move it, it can't be where it used to be. And we don't need to write that decimal at the end because it's not holding a place at the end of a decimal number, but we do need to put a comma here. 7,600 milliliters. Now just as a very quick review, if we had the number 56 liters and we were going to move it three places to the right but there's no decimal in it, the decimal that we don't see is always at the end of the number. So we would go one, two, three, and fill that with zeros. That would be 56,000. Number one, 22 liters equals how many milliliters? Go back and look at your example. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 22,000 milliliters? Let's see how we did that. So remember to start with what you know. We know how many liters we have, and we're going to see how many jumps it takes to get to milliliters. One, two, three to the right. So write your three and your arrow to the right. So we can't see our decimal, so we know it's at the end of the number, and we're now going to jump it three places to the right. One, two, three. It's not here anymore, but we need to fill those little loops with zeros. So our answer is, we don't need that decimal at the end as a placeholder, 22,000 milliliters. Number two, 561 milliliters equals how many liters? Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write 561 thousandths liters. Remember, we count decimal tenths, hundredths, thousandths. It ends in the thousandths place. So it's 561 thousandths liters. See why that capital L comes in handy? Otherwise, it might look like a different number. Let's see how we did that one. So start with what you know. We know we have milliliters, how many milliliters we have, and we're going to jump to liters. One, two, three to the left. So we know that our decimal, when we can't see it, is at the right-hand end of a number. So we'll jump it three places to the left. One, two, three. Now to be grammatically correct, we have to put a zero here because that decimal says and. But we don't read the zero. We simply read 561 thousandths liters. Number three, three milliliters equals how many liters? Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write three thousandths liters? That would be right. Let's see how we did it. So we know how many milliliters we have. We'll start at milla and jump to liters. One, two, three jumps to the left. So we'll write our number three here. We don't have a decimal that we can see, so we know it's right here to the right of it. One two, three to the left. We've got to fill those with zeros. Put a zero there to be mathematically, grammatically correct. And we would read it decimal tenths, hundredths, thousandths, three thousandths liters. So there's some more cool pictures of Amelia Earhart in her plane that she flew. Um, and there's her, her palm print with her autograph. Number four, if Amelia Earhart's plane carried 80 liters of fuel, how many milliliters of fuel would she have needed to fill her tank? Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write, in a complete sentence, no pronouns, Amelia Earhart would have needed 80,000 milliliters of fuel to fill her tank? 
Let's see how we did that. So start with what you know. We know how many liters we have. So we'll start on the liters and we'll jump to milliliters. One, two, three to the right. So we'll rewrite 80 right below that because our decimal is going to be at the end. One, two, three to the right and we have to fill those loops with zeros. So we don't, we've got to have four zeros there. We don't need to put that decimal at the end. It's not a placeholder, but we do have 80,000 milliliters. It's time to challenge yourself. Some people theorize that Amelia Earhart crashed her plane onto a deserted island and lived as a castaway. She has never been found, and her plane hasn't ever been found, although some people think that there are parts of it that have been found. If she had 36 liters of fresh water with her, and she allowed herself to drink only 20 drops of water at a time to ration the water, how many drinks of that amount would she have? What if she allowed herself 40 drops of water per drink? You may have to go back and rewatch parts of this video or look at your notes to help you answer that question. Show your work and explain your answer in your flip journal and come back tomorrow ready to check it. Finishing up, um, there she is with her husband and in her plane. Uh, write down if you're at a level one, you don't get this, or a level two in your learning where you've almost got it but you have a few questions, or a level three, you've got it, you've mastered King Henry. Write down any questions that you still have. Cool King Henry, you have completed lesson 14-2, metric units of capacity. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.